Jesus began to teach us on the mysteries of the kingdom and he said the hour has come listen very carefully that the son of man be glorified and then the very next verse he says verily verily I say unto you except a corn of wheat falls to the ground and dies the door that leads to life is death. The door that leads to power is death. More than your fasting, more than your prayer, more than your Bible study, the price for all of God is all of you. More than your money, more than your preaching, more than your intellect, you want all of God. The price is all of you. Here's how Paul says it. Chapter 12 and verse 1, Romans. I beseech ye therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye offer your bodies, not your spirits, as living sacrifices. Holy unto God, he calls it your reasonable act of worship. The fire never falls until there is sacrifice upon the altar. The men that God will use in these days are not just men of intelligence. They are not just preachers, not just men of oratory. Men who are dead. Only dead men can carry God. The weight of God is too heavy for you to carry in your life. You need to pass through a realm called Galatians 2.20. I have been crucified with Christ. Madam, the anointing is on you. Look at me. Touch this woman for me. I don't know who this woman is, but I'm seeing this woman step into a prophetic dimension in the spirit. Nevertheless, I leave. Yet not I, but Christ that lives in me. He says, the life that I live now, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. No eye has seen, the Bible says. No ear has heard, neither has it come into the heart of man. That which God has in store, not for prayer warriors, not for fasting giants, for them that love him. Not them that use him for fame. Not them that use him for a name. Death is the price for life. Hear what I say preachers. Nothing will ever cover the lack of the presence of God. Our pews will remain empty until we sustain the ability to host God. We need to present God to a generation in a way and a manner that is greater than preaching. It's a reality. It is for a generation. Then we will see his power once again. We will not have to read books again to learn of his power. We will be the evidence, the living epistles. A restoration of patterns. Like Gideon, it will no longer be Ichabod. Where is the miracles that our fathers told us? We will no longer speak of that proverb because we will be living epistles of the possibilities and the realities of the spirit. We will influence governments and systems. The great will entreat our favor because we carry the charisma, the signature of the power, the life, the glory of God. Tonight I have come to blow a shofar over Kenya. And I have come to blow a shofar over Africa. It is true. This convergence is an awakening for Africa. That the season has come. The season has come for that rejected stone. To arise in power and glory. In 2005, I saw a vision of the revival that will come to Africa. I saw the anointing, mantles, living continents to different continents. And I saw that mantle coming to Africa and hiding in people and places that they never knew they were already carrying it. And God concealed it so that it does not corrupt their training. 
Because there are people, if they know the grace that they carry, it will corrupt their discipline. So whilst you are sitting now, you do not even know the kind of mantle and grace and unction that you carry. It is sealed until the time appointed. I saw the formation of the army. I saw prophetic worshippers rising from Africa. Men who would write songs that were not composed. They would sing the songs of Miriam. Songs of angels received from a realm that is not bound in time. Songs that could not die. I saw ordinary people under the influence of the spirit nursing mothers that look like weak people in the spirit and the power of women like Maria Woodward Ita. I saw them with power arising from Africa. Tonight by the spirit of the Lord before I leave your nation let us give God an opportunity that that which has been locked up in the bowels of prophecy we will cry that he will rend the heavens tonight and let something that is holy and mighty come from heaven and rest upon our ministries and rest upon our lives. We have only a few minutes. I'll be praying for people and minister will be very fast. Our time is gone. But please let there be a desire tonight if you will please please listen to me keep whatever title aside for a few minutes and let your heart be open to contact something that a generation cannot deny the presence of God listen to me I do not stand as one who is greater there is an anointing I see an angel standing just at the back of um, Shalom there is the, that row I'm seeing an anointing just coming on someone I think one of the ladies there in the name of Jesus I declare right now please bring her here I want to prophesy to her there is a dimension of the psalmistry that this lady is stepping into by the Spirit of God bring her Jesus Shalom, Shalom, Jehovah, Shalom, Shalom, you're welcome in this place. Shalom, Shalom, Jehovah, Shalom, Shalom, you're welcome in this place. Shalom, Shalom, Jehovah, Shalom, Shalom, you're welcome in this place. Hallelujah. Please listen, we're about to pray. Bring the lady that will shout loud under the anointing now to the hearing of everyone. Bring her. You're welcome in this place. Did the 